As the entire country gears up for Jan 22, Pran Pratishta, I'm joined with a very special guest, American singer and India lover, Mary Milburn, who's famous for singing for US presidents and also the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is joining me live and exclusively. Mary, thanks a lot for making time. It's good to have you on CNN News 18 again. Now, this is a massive occasion for the entire country and I'm seeing a lot of Indian Americans are also celebrating in the US. You are no stranger to the festival of Diwali and Jan 22 is being considered a second Diwali for Indians. Your thoughts on this big moment and occasion? Well, Shivani, it's great to see you, my sister, and certainly hello to all the CNN News 18 family. I tell you, I'm, I'm so sad that I will not be present in India for this incredible and, and very meaningful uh, inauguration ceremony uh, for this beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, edifice, I tell you, uh, what a wonderful time! What a what a what a opportune time, certainly to uh, have this moment uh, during this time in India. Certainly during uh, an important season for the Prime Minister and uh, and the country at large. Mm -hmm. And yes, we all in the United States, uh, so many that are traveling to India now uh, to attend the ceremony. And and I tell you, it's a very exciting time for for the country. Certainly for people of faith. Uh, and certainly for my beloved Hindu community. And so I, I agree, it's a second Diwali for sure, because uh, it is certainly a celebration of um, the importance of faith mm. and how central faith is in all of our lives. I, I'm a Christian woman, and, and certainly I've had the great pleasure here in the United States and uh, across the world to become very close to the Hindu community mm. and to see uh, how important faith is is in all of our lives. It, it, it hopefully should be uh, the central piece in all of our lives. And I think it's the great connector across the world. So uh, so while, yes, an American and, and certainly a lover of India and the Indian people, uh, I, I, can, I can relate to this moment with my uh, Indian family uh, as a woman of faith. Yes, I mean, this is a history for Hindu people in India. It's a struggle of 500 years to reclaim one of the holiest sites uh, in their religion. So it's certainly a big moment and it's being celebrated with not just Hindus, but all parts of our communities are coming together for that big moment. Uh, you talked about, uh, you know, being a woman of faith yourself. Uh, and sometimes, you know, uh, faith comes in contradictions with what people feel are secular values today. Uh, for modern democracies like both the US and India. Uh, how do you see that? Uh, what would your message be to those who are people of faith but also believe in strong democracies that believe that everybody is equal? Because sometimes it becomes a matter of conflict, as you may know in the US as well. Certainly. Well, anytime you have a democracy that is filled with diversity of people and, mm -hmm. and, and cultures and religions, you're always going to have sometimes some contention. But I think the most successful democracies, I can certainly speak to the two uh, largest and closest, and that's certainly in the context of uni the United States and India, uh, are, are great leaders in, in setting a, an example of how a democracy democracy can thrive with a diversity of faith. You know, I was very touched uh, to see how the Prime Minister welcomed Christian leaders to his home during the Christmas holiday, uh, which was an olive branch certainly to, to demonstrate uh, the importance of all of us coming together of different faiths and different cultures uh, to understand each other. You know, the world, I can say this in the United States because we're in an election year. You all are certainly <laughs> in an election year as well. Yes. And, and in election years, uh, you know, all of our differences are magnified. Mm. But I think the beauty about uh, being a person of faith, being in communities of faith, mm. is that faith allows us to come to the table and learn from each other, understand mm. from each other. And I think we need more of that in the world today. So I hope that this beautiful ceremony uh, here in a few days uh, becomes just that, an example uh, in India that unifies people, mm. that certainly celebrates faith, that celebrates uh, uh, certainly a, a meaningful event that's been a long time coming, but re-emphasizes re the importance of unity. Uh, in faith. Absolutely. And uh, you talked about this event being a unifier. We hope certainly that will be the effect. And Lord Ram, uh, that this temple is dedicated to on his birthplace, is himself known as a symbol of, unify, uh, of unity and the great Indian unifier. Uh, I'm going to request you, Mary, since I have you, 
you know, you are famous for singing the Indian Aarti Om Jai Jagdish that is sung in every Indian household on Diwali. This being a second Diwali that the country is celebrating, I would like to yield the stage to you so that you can give us your rendition of the beautiful Om Jai Jagdish, my personal favorite Aarti uh, that you sang so beautifully in Indian clothes and in Hindi. So uh, if you could sing a few lines for us. Well, there's only a few people that I'll get up at 5.30, almost 6 a.m. in the morning and sing for, and that is you, Shivani. <laughs> and Thank seeing you. And seeing in News 18, so... Uh, a little bit, and I tell you, this beautiful hymn has become such uh, such a, a meaningful song to me. I know, as you alluded to, certainly a meaningful song to so many uh, there in India and across the world. So, a little bit for you. Om Chaya Jagati Sahare Swami Jaya Jagati Sahare Bhakta jano ke sankhata, dase jano ke sankhata, shana me dura kare. Om jaya jagati sahare, om jaya jagati sahare. God bless you, sweetheart, and God bless all of you. I wish the very best for this beautiful ceremony, and uh, certainly we'll, we'll be watching here from the United States. Thank you so much for that and for your support, Mary Bilbon. Thanks a lot for speaking to CNN News 18 yet again. We wish you all the best, and I hope to see you in India very soon. You've been teasing us for a while. Very soon. I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> I, I am coming soon. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not supposed to say it yet, but uh, certainly uh, look forward to being yes. in India this year and, and very, very soon. Absolutely. We look forward to that. Thank you. Blessings, dear. On that note, we slip into a very short break. News and updates will continue in just a bit.